Hello, it's Spastastic. Welcome to Spastastic TV. Today we're going to be looking at the on mini CD stereo system thing that's kind of just made out of cheap recycled ABS plastic. But it's a CD player. It's got a Bluetooth radio. It's got an FM radio in it. No AM. I think the older model that they had had AM radio in it. And uh, when you open up the CD tray, uh, it opens up very slowly. As you can see, I have a CDR in there, which is just recorded. Freaking, this takes a little bit of force to actually get to close. But this, I don't think this is the part of the thing that you wanted to see. So let's go ahead and let's turn it on. I have it set to CD here. I'm also using the remote, so I don't have to, you know, put my hand in front of the screen too much. Which I got some YouTube audio library music in it. Now, uh, I don't know how this is going to come over on this condenser microphone, but I guarantee it's going to be better than any unboxing video that's been done on um, one of these units. So uh, let's go ahead and let's hit play. Should be a rock song or something. It first starts off first. Might as well go full blast. I'll go down a non distorted level. Next song. I, I think it pretty much gives you the idea the idea that the CD player actually works and it plays music. Um, and that was pretty much turned up full blast. If uh, And I just wanted to say one thing. Is this thing doesn't have a lot of bass in it. I'll get to that here in a minute. And I'm going to play a really bassy song in here. Probably get some copyright content ID. But anyhow, FM radio. Freaking probably going to come out loud. Switching to Geico is a good idea. And uh, also has a mute button on the thing real quick. I just wanted to point out one thing is that the FM reception on here is actually pretty decent for uh, not having an antenna, I don't think. And uh, let's go ahead, because I know I'm going to get a question on this, is how do you get the Bluetooth to uh, connect on this? So uh, there's probably going to be a, a jump cut involved here. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to turn a Bluetooth on on my phone. I'm going to hold the Bluetooth button to get it over here. Now, you'd think that connecting it to Bluetooth would be simple. And I don't need to show you my phone for this because it's not really anything special. But you see how it's flashing right there? Let's see. Oh, they just connected automatically. However, if, if you need it to connect, and you're having a problem with getting it to connect, when you have it on Bluetooth, it'll start flashing right here. And when you have it flashing right there, if you press the play and pause button, it'll start, rap, rap, fla start rapidly flashing. And when it starts rapidly flashing, you just then that's when you connect your Bluetooth to it. But my phone's already been connected to this, so it just connected immediately. So that's a bit of information. Just press the play pause button if you're having a trouble getting it to uh, connect and hold it until it starts flashing rapidly. All right. So uh, as I said, for the actual bass demonstration, I'm going to play a song. Uh, probably have an ad, and I'll have to do a jump cut because I'm be doing this through YouTube. Be the first to harness the power. I told you there was going to be an ad on Pixel Six wow. or two. All right. The song I'm going to be playing is called Generation Kick and Bass, and this song will make your sound system very, very sad. And in order to do that, I'm actually going to turn this up full blast and hope it doesn't distort too badly on the condenser microphone that I'm plucking right now. So let's go ahead and let's listen to some Generation Kick and Bass. The bass will hit sooner or later. So, just an FYI, this radio is turned up full blast, and it's not doing a very good representation for how much bass this song has. However, I am going to turn around and I'm just going to go ahead and start talking about this right now. There is one thing I do wish that this radio had. And the one thing I do wish this radio had was a clock on it, so you could use it as an alarm clock. However, it does have an auxiliary input. It's not particularly loud. 
So if you wanted something that could just play music and isn't going to piss off your neighbors if you live in an apartment, this would be just fine. Or if you found this to be just a, it would be a just fine product, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The price point for 30 bucks, it could make a good Christmas gift. But hi-fi, it definitely isn't. But anyhow, I'm Spastastic. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too much on this one. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, thanks for watching. Kick and bass.